Hello everybody. What I want to talk about today is how including academic content in your online course message threads is one way to generate more interaction and rich online mathematical discussion. I'll show you one way to do that using screen capture software. My business calculus website is shared by 40 online students and a small group of about 25 in the classroom. Both are actively engaged. I've got about 500 messages so far, but I do aim for the quality of the discussion, which is a lot more important than the quantity. Anyway, I posted my longest discussion board message ever, and I wanted to share it with you. I'm pretty excited about it. Before, this message on the midterm review forum was my uh, longest message thread ever. There it is. You know how TI Smart View can display a triple window? Well, that's what you're looking at here. Along with some comments by me, a screenshot from the web, and some work that I did by hand using paper and pencil. So, let's go to the most recent message, which is here in this forum. Uh, okay, here's the question from Shreya. Normally I'd ask a student who posts a message like this to please explain your thinking, where'd you get stuck, and then I or another student will reply. But I happen to know that this particular question is so difficult, I thought I'd have some fun with it. You know, really get into it. Just for me, I mean just for the fun of it, and for the students as well of course. I spent a significant amount of time on this, but you know, teachers spend hours preparing lessons in the classroom, right? So why shouldn't we do the same thing online? I use Jing to capture the embed code. If you don't have it, download Jing for free here at the website shown. But instead of sharing an image to the web or saving it on the computer, you'll need to add a custom button to capture the embed code. See where the red arrow is? Just click on that to copy the HTML embed code into the clipboard and then paste it anywhere you use smart text or anywhere that recognizes HTML code like the body of a discussion board message. There's a great eight minute video on YouTube for this posted by Susan McCourt. Check it out. So here you see the question from the online homework. I copied and pasted it into the message of the discussion board. You can add arrows and boxes and text and so on. And then uh, some my work, which I scanned using paper and pencil. See how difficult this one was. I tried to explain some of the more complicated steps, but I'm sure this is going to generate some rich discussion as students ask about my work. And then here's some graphing calculator screenshots. And an image off the Wolfram Alpha website of the same question. What was really interesting was how doing the work by hand using paper and pencil compared to the graphing calculator. Notice the graphing calculator didn't even get the right answer, although it did the best it could, of course. And how that compares to technology such as computer software that students are more likely to see and use in the real world after college. So by openly discussing this, I hope I'm doing the right thing as a math professor to relate math in the classroom to the outside world. Anyway, want to see what the code looks like? At the top there's the text I initially typed in, followed by the embed code for the first image, the embed code for the second image, the third image, and some t more text I typed in, and then another image, and then my text that I typed in, etc. So that's how it looks. Let me show you just how easy it is. My discussion board is open. I'll click on Add a New Thread and uh, let's say it's Cinco de Mayo and you want to share with your students a great new Mexican craft beer you've tasted. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, why not? Let's do it. And you want to show them what the bottle looks like. So we'll go to the website. Uh, there it is. I'll pick the Dark Obscura. 
When you install Jing, there's a little half moon, that uh, a half sun, that hovers on the edge of your desktop. You can control where to put it. I like mine over here on the far right. I'll click on the uh, capture button, and let's see, I want it, this dark obscura bottle. And I'll save it using the embed code button. So it's uploading the embed code as I speak, and it's done. So now go to your discussion board and hit uh, right click paste or just do control V like I do and there's the embed code, the HTML code that's embedded and uh, we're, we're all done. I'll show you what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? It's as easy as that. I had a lot of fun with this. Thanks for watching.